Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can inform your team on Telegram automatically about a business proposal getting accepted by any of your client or customer. So guys, for creating business proposals, we are using Quiller application and by Quiller, you can create business documents in form of web pages. Okay, so if any of your customer or client is accepting your proposal, you want to inform your team immediately and this automation is going to do it for you and you do not have to manually see who is accepting the proposal and you do not have to manually send a message. So it will save your time in this uh, communication gap and it will improve your productivity. And we are going to set up this without any coding so easily. So let's begin. So we are setting up this automation inside Pavli Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pavli. And I have pasted the same link in the description. And from here, you can set up your free Pavli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now. And after that, you have to sign in and you will reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect. And from here, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up the automation workflow. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as Quiller to Telegram messages. Okay. And after giving the name, just click on create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So our automation works on these two things. So trigger is that event which is going to start our workflow and the action would be the consequence of this trigger. So in our use case, we are going to connect the trigger application here as Quiller and the trigger event would be exception of the proposal. Okay, so here you just have to search for Quiller application. Q W I L R and the trigger event would be project accepted. And now you have to click on connect to connect with Quiller. From here, select add new connection. And here it is asking for the API key of Quiller and that you will find in the settings section. Let me show you the Quiller application. This is my Quiller applications dashboard. And here, let me click on this profile icon. And from here, I'm going to click on account settings. Under account settings page on the left hand side panel, when you scroll down, you will find this Quiller API option, click on it. And here is the key that we want. So just copy this key and paste this key here in this field like this, and then click on save and you will be connected with Quiller. Okay, so we are connected. And here we have this save and send test request button, you have to press this. And it will start waiting for the response of this connection that you have created. So this means now you have to perform a test submission. Test submission means now we are going to manually uh, accept any proposal that you have created inside Quiller. Okay, so we are going to accept that proposal on behalf of any dummy customer and the data will be received here and that will act as a test data for us to set up the automation further. Okay, so let me go back to my Quiller applications dashboard. <clears throat> and here is a quotation I have created guys named as agency quotation and I'm going to click on share button and let me first set this web page live. I'm going to click on confirm. Okay, so the page is live. Now let me copy the link of this page and I'm going to open this link here in a new tab. And here you can see guys, this is how you can create the web pages of your business proposal proposals like the quotation I have created for a marketing agency. Okay. And here you can see all the details regarding the agency, the pricing, the services and everything. And here you can see we have this accept button. So by clicking on accept, let me manually accept this proposal. And here let me fill in the details of any demo or dummy customer. So guys, I have filled in all the details. You can see name, email, organization, and the signature. And here I'm going to click on accept. And this proposal is accepted. You can see, congratulations, the code has been accepted. Now let's check in our workflow if we got the data captured of this uh, proposal or not. And here you can see guys in this response received section, 
we got the data like this. It is showing us the project's name, the link of the project. And when you scroll down here, you will find the technical details about the web page that we have created. And when you scroll down it till the last part, you will find the details of the person who have accepted the proposal as well. Let me show you that. Here you can see guys, it started showing the acceptor's name, the acceptor's uh, legal entity or the organization's name, the email address and the date at which the proposal got accepted, right? Now we got the details and now I want to inform my team on Telegram that we have got a proposal accepted, okay? For that, we are going to connect Telegram bot here in the section step. Search for Telegram bot. And the action event would be send a text message or a reply. So you can select HTML format or markdown. I'm selecting HTML. Now click on connect. From here, select add new connection. And here it will ask for the token key. So to get this token key, guys, you need to follow these instructions written here. First of all, you need to create a bot inside Telegram and then you have to add the bot inside that group in which your team is present and then you will get the token. Let me just show you directly. You can just read the instructions. Here guys, this is my Telegram and here on the top search bar, I am going to search for Telegram bot. Search for Telegram, sorry, not Telegram bot. Here you have to search for BOT bot father. Okay, search for bot father and you will find this blue tick bot father icon you have to click on it and here you have to send a message like this slash new bot. Let me send one more time slash new bot to create a new bot. Okay, so it will reply you like this. All right, a new bot. So how are we going to call it? Please choose a name for a bot. So let's see. Uh, let's you can give any name to this bot. I'm giving the name as let's say proposal bot proposal proposal bot all right it is uh, it replied good now let's choose a username for a bot and it must end in bot for example tetris bot okay so let's give a username let me give the username as quiller underscore bot okay and here you can see guys we got a new bot created like this and here we got the access token that we want so you can just copy this token paste this token here like this and click on save and you will be connected with telegram. So you can see guys we are connected with telegram and here it is asking for the chat ID of the group in which you want to send the messages. So before entering chat ID here, let's do one thing. First of all, open this bot here and add this bot into the group in which your team is present. So my team is present here. You can see in this group, my team, this is the name of the group. So guys, you can add this bot from your smartphone very easily. I cannot show you that on my screen, but you can do it. And you have to uh, add the bot as an admin of this group. Okay, let's, you have to remember this, make the bot as an admin. So I'm doing it with my smartphone. So guys, you can see I have added this bot as an admin of this group. And when you open the group guys, in the top search bar, you will find this ha uh, hashtag and after this you will find this dash and a string of numbers. So these string of numbers is actually the chat ID. So you just have to copy this chat ID like this and you have to enter this chat ID here in your workflow like this. Okay. And here in this text message field, you can type a standard message for your team for sending the notifications of proposals getting accepted. So guys, I have uh, written this message for my team. This is to inform you that we just got our proposal accepted. And after proposal, I want to mention the proposal's name and I want to provide the details of my client as well to my team, like the name of the client, the email and the organization. So guys, I'm going to map this test data that I have received here from the first step. And I'm going to map the labels I have received here in this step. Okay, so for that, you just have to click here in front of proposal word and you will see the previous step, the Queller step in the drop down like this. And when you click on it, you will, uh, you will see all the data here only. So from here, I'm mapping the project name first. Okay. And here in the client details section, just click here and here you will find the search bar from here. You can search for acceptors name like this 
and you will find the data here. This is the name label, you can see map it. After that, just click on this email and from the search bar, type acceptor and you'll find the acceptors email like this. Similarly, click here on front of organization, then type acceptor again and you will find the acceptors organization name uh, like this, the legal entity label, okay, map it, okay. So guys, when you map the data here like this, what will happen in real time after setting up this automation, whenever your quotation or proposal get will get accepted, these labels here will change, will update automatically and new messages will be sent to your team automatically with the new data, okay? So guys, after this, you can just enable or disable the notifications of the messages as well. If you are sending any link, you can set the link previews option. And now you can check your connection with Telegram by clicking on save and send test request button and a test message will be sent to this group. Okay, let us check our connection. I'm clicking on save and send test request here. And this is the response we have received. And here you can see we got a new message on Telegram and the message is this. And this message has been bought by the same bot that we have created named as proposal bot. And it is showing this is to inform you that we just got our proposal as in C quotation accepted. The client details are these. Thank you so much. Okay. So this is how it is going to work guys. So now we are done and you have to set up this automation only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow. After that, whenever your quotations will get accepted when by anyone, you will receive the notification messages like this on Telegram automatically and the workflow is going to run in the background. And guys, you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.